yeah, tarantula or tarantulas has got a bad reputation. People are scared of them for no reason. Some of their venom is less potent than a wasp and they only really bite in self-defense. They don't want to be petted, they don't want to be touched. They tolerate us, so this toleration level, but they recognize us as well, and that is with tasting us. Some of my tarantulas here, they, they recognize the tweezers, and they know that's cockroaches and food coming. And we feed our tarantulas about once a week. Some of them go on a hunger strike for a month or longer, and that is just because when they get ready for molting. Molting, then this happens, and you get complete exoskeleton of new spider in the old skin and you can tell the sexes from opening the bottom part and in between their book lungs is an opening and with that you can see if you've got a boy or a girl. But the boys, they average about two to three years and then they pass and they do that naturally of old age. They're sexually mature for about a year and that indication is the behind is small, there's hooks on either side of their, their, their front legs and they've got little things on, on their feelers in front there that looks like boxing gloves. And he's restless. He will leave his nest and he will walk around looking for a girl. After mating, she eats him. And then they produce, or she produces, the eggs. This species is salmon pink bird eater, Lasiodora parahebana. They will produce between 800 to 2,000 babies in a single egg sac. You get two groups of tarantulas, the old world and the new world. New world's first self-defense is to flick hair at you from their bums. That hair makes you itch. The hair itself is rated from 1 to 5. 5 is most irritating, 1 is less irritating. And then the old world ones, they just bite to protect themselves. Now I can show you some others as well. I'm just going to leave her here. And I'm going to take out a curly hair that's been here since 2011. She got here as a sub-adult girl. About the same color but a little bit smaller and they've got really nice temperaments very nice beginner tarantulas because you find them from rainforest into deserts and they quite fast growers as well Mexican fire leg, nice beginner tarantulas this individual is a girl that I bought in 2015 third in store so it was still a gamble it could have been a male or a female when they're so small it's very difficult to sex because of the, the size of the skins. But your girls live 15 to 30 years, record 43 years. Her name was 16, Australian Thunder Web. And they are quite hardy. Like I said, they can go very long times without food. We water them once a week. We water some of their plants once a week, if they've got plants in their cages. And then they get a cockroach a week. But then in summer, we might give two cockroaches a week. And then sometimes they go on their own strikes where they don't want to eat and that can last for a month or longer. The Chaco Golden Knees are known to go for a year without wanting any food. They'll just sleep it out. So I'm going to put this one back and then I'll show you a subspecies of this as well. This is Mrs. Smith. She's uh, not happy. I'm getting flicked with hair. You can actually see the hair coming up and floating by. That make you itch a bit. Some people have a bad allergic reaction to the hair. It's just I haven't picked this one up in months and she doesn't have the toleration level the others have. A Mexican red knee. 